All right, today we're going to talk about green flags. Green flags are good qualities that women might have and some signs that they might have of those good qualities. And these are good qualities for women that you would just want to have in your life, whether it's casual relationships or something more than that. I maintain the stance that it's best to have women with good qualities rather than toxic qualities, even in casual relationships, because women with toxic qualities and a lot of red flags can bring you problems, drama, and bad circumstances and situations into your life, even if they're just casual. All right. So we want to bring in, even if you're not interested in a long-term thing and more interested in just having casual encounters, casual relationships, it's good to notice these green flags and notice um, people that are worth having around in, in your life. And the w- one we'll cover today is we're going to cover how she talks about her exes within the first few dates. Now, I'm Paul, Apex Mindset. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, get on my email list. I'd like to also refer you to Naked Yoga Um, If you are interested in watching hot women do yoga completely nude on YouTube, just do a search naked yoga and boom, in full display, you will have full nudity and the thumbnails, full frontal, everything you can imagine, just chicks doing yoga. Now, I mentioned that not just to say that's fun to go to and maybe put on the background when you have a family event, perhaps like maybe Christmas time, have naked yoga playing on your big screen, but also because I get shadow banned just by saying women and men are different or by saying maybe women shouldn't just sleep with a bunch of guys indiscriminately and that could harm them. Or when I say maybe dudes shouldn't get one-itis or be weak vaginas or maybe guys shouldn't invite toxic women into their lives. Crazy controversial things like that gets me shadow banned, ambiguous thumbnails that couldn't be construed by a child to be anything sexual necessarily gets me shadow banned, but full women frontal in full display on thumbnails with nude yoga, not banned at all. In fact, they got a lot of clicks and hits and very easily searchable. So that's where we're at. This is my point is you got to share this material. If you want this information to get out there, you want to support me and support this kind of content that actually helps people have better interactions with women, even helps women have better interactions with men Get this stuff out there, share it in your communities online, share it with your friends. Okay, so now to the green flag. How she talks about her exes, if she talks about them, first of all, within the few, few, first few dates, if she never brings it up, never really talks about it, not a big deal, that's a green flag, that's a good sign. It's very common for women to bring up past dates they've been on, past relationships, their ex-husband, their ex-long-term boyfriend, their ex-baby, their baby daddy, all that stuff gets brought up right in the beginning within the first date, first hangout, or sometimes within the first couple with a lot of these women. And that's not really a good thing, okay? If she doesn't bring it up at all, that's a green flag. That's a good thing. If it does happen to get brought up, because sometimes it gets brought up or the conversation happens because they don't know what else to talk about sometimes. And these things sort of happen and she references or talks about it with more of a neutral mindset, a positive outlook on the breakup and a neutral mindset or a neutral presentation of that person. Then that's also a good thing. That means that she's not wanting to necessarily trash talk this person, even if they deserve it. Okay, even if she, even if this person was terrible to him or whatever, she's not wanting to trash talk somebody else and try to make somebody look like crap in front of a stranger. Not only that, is she should be wanting to present herself in the best light to you. If she sees you as alpha, okay, and she sees you as high SMV and someone that she's pining for, meaning high desire for you. Her biggest threat or fear is presenting herself in a negative light. Talking about past relationships at all, or in in any sense, brings risk of her presenting herself in a bad light. 
because she knows whether she admits it or not, that she made the decision to be with that person. Right. And so her biggest concern is not to present herself as the victim, to talk about her problems and to do anything or say anything that would make you think that this chick has a lot of problems and has a lot of baggage. And therefore I don't want to be with her long term at all or anything past this date. I'm going to discard her. So if she is seeing you as attractive, that will be a concern of hers and she's not going to want to have these discussions. Furthermore, there's the opposite of it, which is if she's talking about exes either excessively positively or bringing them up frequently, that's obviously not a good sign. That indicates a hang up on those, on those past relationships. But if she's talking about these people in a, in a neg negative light and it, that also brings up um, the possibility that she's hung up on these people or hung up on these past relationships or that ex. Because the opposite of attraction and arousal is indifference. If she doesn't care, doesn't give a crap, and it's like not even a thought in her mind, that is the opposite of being attracted or aroused by that person. Being angry or hateful or resentful or mad, those feelings can co coincide, believe it or not, with attraction and arousal. Obviously, positive feelings can coincide with that as well, right? Or would, but those excessively negative feelings, those coincide with attraction and arousal. It indicates that she's still aroused or attracted to this person and angry because she can't have them anymore or because they don't have a thing anymore. She may be out to cuck that person with you overtly in her mind, meaning try to find somebody to sleep with that she thinks would upset him, or she at least will get the satisfaction knowing I'm sleeping with a different person and it's not him, right? And that could indicate maybe she sees you a little bit as better, but she's if she's reaching for that, what that indicates is that this past guy is still her mental point of origin in her approach to dating and relationships. If she's looking to sleep with you to compare you to him, he is the point of comparison that indicates he is the person who alpha widowed her. You are not necessarily the, the new apex alpha. She may be hopeful that you could be, but on a first date or two or a couple of encounters, she's not seeing you as the apex alpha yet, even if she's hopeful for it. Maybe she's just being delusional and she can't get anything better than you. So she's trying to justify during this high emotion honeymoon phase of the beginning phases of dating, right? With you, she's trying to justify how you could be better than this other person. But if she has to try to justify and think about how you could be better than this other person, then that indicates again that this other person is her mental point of origin when it comes to approaching uh, her sexual decisions. And that means by default, you're not the point of origin for that. Now, if she doesn't have hangups and doesn't even think about it and is just enamored with you and paying attention with you then that indicates that maybe you're the new mental point of origin for her sexual decisions, or perhaps she's her own mental point of origin with her sexual decisions because you haven't quite earned that place yet of being the apex alpha, just it being early in the in relationship or early in the dating phase and all, right? But either way, that's okay, that's healthy. Because if the other person is the mental point of origin, right? If the other person is the focal point for her sexual decisions, and the point of comparison, again, not a good sign. That would be the red flag, the opposite of that. So green flag here, again, is not being hung up on exes. Talking about exes excessively negatively, especially playing the victim, especially not taking personal responsibility for things in the breakup and indicating that this person is oh so terrible, that indicates a hang up and that is not good. And if she is hung up on an ex, you never move forward past anything casual. Now, some are going to say, what about trauma? What about like, what if this person was seriously abusive and so on and so forth? 
Well, if this person was seriously abusive, do you think that she's going to want to sit down with a perfect stranger or someone she doesn't really know that well yet and then talk about her deeply abused and traumatic experiences? I don't think so. I think those are traumas. And if those, if those things have happened, those le have left deep scars. And those are things that she's not going to just want to be open in it with, with somebody that she doesn't know very well. So if she's bringing this stuff up and she's acting like this was such a trauma and this person was so abusive with you and it's the first few dates and you guys don't know each other that well, that indicates that there's a great possibility that she's full of crap and none of that stuff is true. All right. Or it indicates at the very least that even if there's an element or grains of truth to it, that she's still very hung up on that person and she's not just dealing with trauma from an abusive scenario, what she's actually dealing with is unresolved attraction and arousal for that person. And that is not a good sign. So moving forward, as you spin plates, take girls out, hang out, talk to chicks, whatever. If you notice that they're excessively talking about an ex, then that's a problem. If you notice that they're negative, especially in a negative light, or even just in a positive light or, or a level of frequency where they're always bringing it up, those are signs of being a problem. A woman that really isn't interested in talking about that stuff at all, in the beginning at least, of those first few encounters and those first handful of hangouts, that's a good sign. That's a green flag that somebody who is pot potentially, anyways, not hung up on her past. Thanks again for tuning in. Mm -hmm.